Hello everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today I want to start a new YouTube video series on my cleanup approach. Now everybody does cleanups differently but when I have done cleanups in the past and I still assist people with some cleanups here and there there's a specific set of steps or a progression that I use in my cleanups and so I want to share that with you in these next few videos. Now I will be focusing pretty much entirely all of my examples using the QuickBooks Online sample file. At some point I'll probably go ahead and do a similar series for desktop because desktop there are a few things that are different but a lot of what I'm saying here will apply to desktop to some degree. So keep that in mind. And again, I am in Craig's Design and Landscaping Services sample file. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to always start with the chart of accounts because the chart of accounts is the backbone or the skeleton of the record. So you always want to start with that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the accounting tab here. So that way we can go in and select the chart of accounts. And as you can see in this case, it opened up right to the chart of accounts because that was what I was last in as I was practicing what I was going to show you today. And eventually we're going to look at how the chart of accounts is set up and I'm going to talk about that next time because that would be the next step. But what you want to do when you're in the chart of accounts, when you very first get a file that you're looking at, or doing a file review, the first thing you want to do is you want to go through all line items and you're going to run the reports for all dates. So we're going to start with a checking account and I'll show you what I'm talking about over here where you see the view register hot link under the action column over here on the right. You're going to actually click on the drop down here and we're going to actually run the report on the checking. Now, most cases, it's going to default to 90 days. And so we want to run this report for all dates. And if you have a large file, you could probably break that up into maybe yearly groups. But in this case, I'm running it for all dates since there's not a whole lot of sample data in here. What you're primarily looking for is in the cleared column you want to see what has been reconciled which is signified by an R and what has actually cleared the banking center which you'll see a C but you also and in particular want to notice where you do not see an R or a C and and of course this file does not give us a good representation of that but usually when you see a blank space where you should see either an R or a C will mean one of two things. It means possibly that there are duplicates that were entered in there that were not matched to anything that came through the banking center. Or it could mean that the account has never been reconciled. And you won't really know that until you do further digging. But you do want to make some notes of that. And if you see a bunch of C's and you see a bunch of numbers that, um, that are entered in there manually with no C or R that have some duplicate figures, then that'll give you a clue that some of this stuff was entered manually and never matched up. So that's one of the things you want to look for when you're doing this type of file review. And you're going to do that for each of these accounts in there. You're going to go ahead and run the reports. And of course, when you get to the profit and loss accounts, that's all you can do is to run the reports for each of those. You're not going to have the option to click on the drop down. But you do want to do that with each one because you want to see not only what has been cleared or not been cleared. You also want to see if there's anything entered in any of those registers at all, including anything with a zero balance. Because just because something has a zero balance on it does not necessarily mean there's nothing in the register. So you need to look at those things. So next time, we're going to talk about the organization of the chart of accounts because that's real important as well. But you have to 
go through all the line items initially to see what's in there. You have to look to see how those transactions are being entered into the record. So hopefully this will help you today. And next week, again, like I said, we're going to talk about the organization of the chart of accounts and um, what to do to kind of look out for some organizational mistakes and what to look for for that. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.